Hello. Um, this is a fairly unknown feature and people have been thinking about how to uh, install and remove the rear wheel. So, um, uh, Paul Evolink has special dropout system come here to show it. So, from here. So, this is open to this direction. Normally, uh, in other uh, bikes, the, it's open to this direction, so you uh, drop the uh, the wheel off. So on Paul Evolinks, you pull it back, so it comes uh, off to this direction. Uh, this is because uh, we wanted to have a good welding scene. So uh, shoot that. So you can see it's really good welding seam here. So it makes it stiffer and more constant uh, to this dropout. So now I will show you how to do it. Uh, so you so you put the chain first, then you just slide it in from from here. So it's uh, some people might, uh, have tried. I've seen them to try to pull it down, but just slide it backwards. So it's it's really easy. And and it uh, basically um, uh, with Di2 Shimano uh, derailleur, I had some issues that the, the cable is here, so that might give you a little bit of trouble. But uh, most of the people are using SRAM. But on different Shimano derailleurs, I didn't find any uh, issues. Only the Di2 was in the way. So just pull it back. It's it's just different. It's not <laughs> like no, it is just different, different direction than the others. So, uh, and also I find it easier to pull it backwards than dropping it downwards because sometimes uh, you m you may have big tire, and when it it goes uh, forward a little bit, if it is the standard, it goes forward and downward. So sometimes you you get caught on the uh, the chase day, no, I mean the yoke, which is at the end of the uh, chain stay, which goes around, which connects the two chases together. So this, if you have a big tire, uh, you won't have that issue when you pull it back. So that's the idea behind this feature.